Hello, welcome to Working Class Customs. We're here at beautiful Carolina Motorsports Park. In Kershaw, South Carolina. Kershaw, South Carolina. You're staring directly into turn one. We've had a lot of fun running this today. We're looking forward to showing you around this track. So it'll be our first track review, hopefully of uh, many coming up. Right. So stick around, let us show you around. They, they try to go like close to that one, and I get out. All right, well, hey, we're in turn three. You're looking from with the straight down through turn one, turn two is kind of a nice little slight right, and then turn three. In my opinion, one of the best parts of the track, for sure, Agreed. right? You come down the straight, we talked about that on our podcast recently, but not super long, around a third of a mile. Come down the straight, hitting, I don't know, top of fourth gear. I don't know about you. Yeah, top of fourth top on of that fourth. particular straight. There's places on this track we'll get into in a minute, but there are places on this track where I was all the way up in sixth. Okay, yeah. So there's definitely some speed to be had. The straight is not super long, kind of tight turn coming into it and tight turn going out. So fourth, maybe fifth, depending on who you are. Obviously this is our first time here. So take what we're saying for uh, for what it's worth there. But you come in pretty hard left, nice little slight right and another hard left here. And you shoot off down into turn four. This is also like, well, right after this turn, I think is some of the only elevation. <laughs> yeah. Besides on the opposite side, I, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah, um, we, we were told constantly that there's the biggest downfall to this track was there's zero elevation so it's kind of boring in that way but i won't say it has a lot of elevation being nah, from the rocky mountain states but <laughs> but it does have quite a bit i don't know if the camera shows it but we are increasing altitude here just a little bit and there's a pretty good decrease and then back up again yeah it kind of does it down up other I, side. so i loved this shot right here i loved coming out of this corner you hang out real wide and then you're just full gas all all gas Heading into that next turn, there's a great braking zone there. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about the markers when we get down there. We're not so sure about the markers being <laughs> being the best markers. But yeah, that's turn. That's turn three. Turn three. Let's keep going. This is turns, turns, we said turns Turn. five, six, and seven? Seven. Seven. Six. Five. It's just one turn. It really is. Yeah, it's a large carousel right-hander, super long. I think they're counting it as three turns because there's kind of three apexes to a degree. But you don't, we stayed wide there, yeah. turned it into a double. Yeah, at least so. the way I was hitting it, I was definitely turning it into a double as much as possible once the weather. Yeah, started shaping up. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna so we're gonna keep going back to elevation. I think at least through the next little bit um, because coming here, it's, that's what we heard, right? It was like, hey, it's, it's more technical than Roebling, but there's no elevation, right? It's the worst part about Carolina Motorsports Park is it's so flat. No one likes that, and I think we kind of felt pretty different than that opinion. Yeah, I've, I've I've been to tracks with less elevation. Yeah, absolutely. Utah has less elevation. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, it's like. That's in the Rockies, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> the desert has less than uh, than the East Coast. But anyway, you know, looking over, you guys should have just seen it. You can't even see that turn four and five, and then we're here. So there, there's definitely some elevation. Still a really fun part of the track right here. I think most of it was fun. I don't really think we have any complaints there, but this is like still really technical. There's no super long straights here or anything like that, but a nice big long right-hander. You can, if you stick your leg out, you carry speed, you're like knee on the ground the whole way through here if you want to, no problem. So, yeah. and there's so many, like, great place to do passes, whatever else, because there's so many different lines through here. 
Like you could you could take anywhere you want, honestly. Yeah, a lot so. of room, wide track through here as well. Yep, absolutely. You got me feeling like a firebolt. High in the sky. Looking like a thunderstorm. Oh, here we go. go, 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 go. That led us to a quick break in the track review. I think we wanted to talk about how, obviously, we're out here walking the track. Uh, you can, too. Most tracks that we've been to will allow you to go walk them once they go cold, as long as you're not on a motorized vehicle. Um, I think we really enjoy that. It's mm -hmm. great to come out and like see things up close and personal and realize, like, oh, that's, that's what I've been looking at all day, or I could definitely be further this way, or here's a good marker that I didn't see while I was on the bike. Now I can look for that. So great opportunity. Highly. Um, Highly recommend it. If you get the chance to walk the track, it's just you're going so slow. Yeah, you actually have to when take you're, everything in. When you're walking, you can just see the track is wide. There is room. I can go faster. Yeah, and if you happen to lose like a number, two, or something, maybe you can find it. It might be as, laying as in the grass did. here. Um, but anyway, hey, we're coming in. To, we just got out of five, six, and seven. This will be turn eight. We stopped so soon because there's this. What is this? This is this is where you stop. <laughs> what the heck does this mean? There's a five, a four, a three, a two, and a one, and we can only assume it's 100 feet, All right? So a lot of tracks will have braking markers. This track has these in four places, three places. Main straight, right here, and the back kind of straight after the kink. No, and right before the main straight, so four places. Four places. Um, but they use feet rather than giving you a, hey, start braking here, three, two, one, and like gears or something like that. It's just feet, so it can kind of throw you off. I think it's personally one of my biggest complaints. There doesn't really need to be that much braking here, yeah, especially just, not 500 feet of braking. Um, so it's nice to let you know how close you are to the apex, but yeah, signs and it, are distracting. And it, and it depends on what you're used to. Uh, we were in rainy conditions this morning. It's true. So maybe somebody wants to know where that 500 mark is. As Easton mentioned, yeah. uh, a lot of tracks just have three, two, one, and you know, one is where the pros stop, is what I always, the pros stop at one. So yep. if you're getting close to that, you're good. But like you said, there's a lot of choices here. You, I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but 500 is clear up here. Um, I'm breaking it just short of 200 is where I'm actually rolling off the throttle. This is quite the swooping corner. Yep. Yeah, as you'll kind of see. But I think my biggest issue with these ones specifically is that for me, and we've talked about this before, I get super hyper-focused on things. Yep. And so when I see a sign like this, it's like, that sign, and I'm gonna stare at it till I pass it. So <laughs> when I see that, I'm just gonna slow down naturally because this sign is here telling me something's going on. So, but we'll continue down. You wanna yank that out? So yeah, we'll just, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow is better. No, if you're gonna walk the track, please take care of it. Uh, you know, do your part. <laughs> Leave it better than you found it or whatever. Right. We'll continue down. Here we are in the wild, out in the wild, on the side of a race. I'm actually kind of worried about the wild. There's no alligators over there. There's a big bird though. But what do we see here? Cranky, what could this be? Uh, what it could looks this like be? It, it could be a what, what? clearly uh, carbon fiber. Clearly carbon fiber. Uh, very expensive. Very expensive. <clears throat> um, has to be off a super fast bike if it flew super off. Super fast bike. Yeah. Yeah, but fast bike flew probably. Oh, hold on. There's a tag here. Property of Easton. What are you talking about? Yeah. What are you there talking you go, about? Buddy. Oh, yeah. Hey, old buddy. All right, all right, all right. 
Yeah, they, uh... <laughs> yeah. So sometimes, things fall off your bike. I happen to be coming down here, and I just felt this thing go on my knee. Look at that giant daddy long leg. Anyway, um, hit my knee, and I was like, oh, come on, man, don't tell me my entire freaking fender is falling off now, too. Like, I thought the whole side of the fairing was coming off. I looked down and seen this just like, and then about the time I looked down, because I was like trying to, you know, you move your leg out so you can right. look, and it just <laughs> and flew off, which is left side, right side of the track, but another good reason to walk the track. Walk the track. Go find some parts yeah. you may have lost. We get to go do some mechanic -ing. Yeah, Velcro. There's secret cop cars. Well, isn't the... Actually, what the... There's secret cop cars. All right, we gotta touch on that. Just say that again, one more time. There's secret cop cars. Say it one more time. There <laughs> are secret cop cars. They're literally behind... One, two, three, four. There are at least four cop cars. We're not gonna look into that any further. Yeah, somebody local maybe can tell us. But maybe they got like a trash car type race with old cop cars. There's four plus a blue unmarked. Unless that's, but it wouldn't make any sense because if they use them for training, to train out here, they would just well, park them over there. That's true, but they have those like trash car races. Maybe they donate the old cars and... Maybe. Who knows? But they're like hidden behind a... Yeah, they, didn't want, they don't want us to see them. <laughs> we found them. Well, we showed you the rest of it. Those last few turns take you all the way from, I think where we were eight. Eight. <laughs> through 14. Uh, this is the next like technical portion of the track after this kind of not straight on the other side and then you have back down the straight. So that's it. That was Carolina Motorsports Park. We got to talk about facilities. We're here, facilities matter, especially if you're doing more than one day at a time. What did you think overall? Well, I would say first, uh, we had a rainy day today. True. Uh, we will actually be here again tomorrow and we're hoping for better weather. Absolutely. But because of the weather today, we had 18 to 20 uh, red flag situations. Yeah. That's just, just, just how it is. Sorry. It happens. it happens. But the reason I bring that up is not a negative. The medical team, you talk about facilities, the medical team seemed to be top notch right on it. Uh, the the hoopty wagon that picks up your crash bike seemed to be Crashed motorcycle retrieval system, <laughs> was, CMRS. It was sweet. They were there, it was gone. I mean, they were really quick. Yeah, there were there were a lot of times there was a red flag and a lot of times you're like, you see a red flag and session's over. It's done, it's over. But they got out, picked up a bike. Conveniently, it was often <laughs> right here in, in turn one, one right corner next one. to where the- Usually lap one. Where it is, but- Usually warm up lap, corner one. <laughs> But like you said, I mean, we've yeah. been to a lot of different track days, situations where if you have a red flag, if you have three in a day, nobody got the ride. And yep. 
I say that as a positive. We had a lot today, and we still got a lot of riding. Yeah. Yeah, as far as uh, like facilities, there's a restaurant, there's gas on site, there's garages. They call them garages, they're not garages, but I'd say they're still pretty good. You got electrical in there, lights, and a covering, so they're not going to keep you warm, but they'll definitely keep you out of the weather. Um, Seneca race fuel. Yep, Seneca race, yeah, not just gasoline, but full fuel. And then there's there's campsites, and there's multiple. If you get on their website, which we'll have a link to down in the description, but if you get on their website, there's multiple different camping options, uh, all the way from a full RV hookup down to, I just want a little power station for my tire warmers. Kind of everything in between there. I think that's pretty awesome. You got some good uh, options there. Yeah. And you could, you could bring your full RV and water, sewer, electrical. Um, the only downside I would give that is that the pits have a paved path are not fully paved. If you're coming to Carolina Motorsports Park, pack a rug or something to put your tires on or your bike on and I think what we found today at least where we were it wasn't the smoothest so our tire sorry our bike stands were kind of yeah your front stand would throw the back one off and... yeah they don't they don't like to roll so easy so bring some plywood or something and we're and we're rookies here something to consider uh, we noticed a couple people in the RV parking where we were at today mm -hmm. some of the people uh, ha basically had a hot pit down next to the asphalt true so they could leave their bike down there instead of parking on the grass like we did yeah, which so. is also a good option, yeah. Uh, first time out here for us, so you, I mean, you guys will be seeing that a lot uh, if you come to the channel. We're gonna keep doing these track reviews as we make our way across the country to all the different racetracks. Kind of give you our opinion of what it is, you know, coming for the first time to see if the drive is worth it to you. So I think that should finish us up. Give it finish them up. I, I, will, I will say we've been to a lot of tracks and this is a very clean facility. Yep. Uh, seems to be a very well organized facility and yeah. I'd like to quickly give a shout out. We're here with N2 Track Days today. We're riding with N2 Track Days at Carolina Motorsports Park. Correct, yep. We can point out that typically when you do a track day, these track walks happen in the evenings and we are in uh, October. Yep. We are in mid-October and it starts to get dark early, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We started a little later than we planned on, but yeah, it does get a little dark. And I, I will say, down to Carolina Motorsports Park is in South Carolina. There's mosquitoes. If you're hanging out at night, if you're doing a two day like we are, you're gonna deal with the bugs of the South. But uh, I think we, we need to do a wrap up. Give her, uh, we're gonna try and hit three categories. So category one being facilities, right? So I come to the track, the bathrooms, the does it have a restaurant, the concessions, whatever it might be, the facilities, the stuff to make you feel happy when you're not riding. And then we'll do the track itself. So the track, right? Not just, uh, we're kind of going to try and get it from all aspects in one go. You could have a track that has amazing surface and terrible corners. You could have a track that has amazing corners, but it really just needs to be paved. We're going to just kind of give that an all around there. And then we're going to combine those two up to give you just the all around, how worth it is it to drive to that racetrack. I'll let you take care of, uh, yeah, what was the first one? Facilities. Facilities. We're going one to 10, one to 10. Yeah. Up to 10,000 RPM. Up to 10,000 RPM. So you can use facilities. If you want. No, that's fine. So facilities, I would say, I don't want to give anybody a perfect score, but based off of what we're dealing with here, based off of do I have everything that I need uh, here at the track? Absolutely. I'm going to give it an 8,000 out of 10,000 RPM. All right, 8,000 out of 10. I like that. I think I'm right there with you. I might be a little closer to seven and a half, and it's just purely coming from like there aren't actually garages. Yeah. Right, so I can't like pack my stuff somewhere overnight and know that no weather will get to it no matter what. Um, the bathrooms weren't like beautiful, and I'm we're trying to set a pretty high standard here. So <laughs> keeping it real is a very nice, it's a very nice facility. I, I could even bump you above eight thousand if I wanted to, but I'd be right in there, seven seventy eight hundred to eight thousand RPM for facilities. All right, I'll I'll hit the track if you don't mind. I think the track itself. So it's a little short. There isn't a ton of elevation, but there's more than we thought there would be, as we kind of talked about already. Uh, and there's there's some good technical stuff out there. Still some long straights, some high speed, some slow speed corners, some medium speed corners. It's kind of got a little bit of everything. Um, I think I want to throw it right in that like 6,500 to 7,000 RPM range. Yeah. Uh, definitely worth worth coming to, worth checking out for sure. Not like the best I've ever seen, but still super fun. So for me, one of the things that I I found tracks wonderful, it's worth coming out, 
love to see it. The track surface was great. I mean, we were in pretty bad conditions today. They, yeah, and they did get repaved in 2020. Did, did get repaved in 2020. Um, for me, I'm gonna give it 6,000 RPMs and okay. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer on that. The reason I'm giving it 6,000 is because I'm not the most proficient motorcycle racer in the world, yeah. but by halfway through the day, I, I, you can always learn more, you can always go faster. I didn't set the track record, I didn't any of those things, but I find myself at other tracks, you know, after being there multiple days, still just learning something new every time I went out on the track. And this one, I mean, in one session, I felt pretty comfortable. I wasn't waiting to see what corner was coming. It was pretty predictable yeah. in that way. Yeah, I will, I will all agree with you there. The flow and the, the predictability of the corners, it's a very readable track pretty easy to right. this is what's coming this is what's coming so now taking you know every line through every corner that's what you learn that's where you improve that's where you set your lap times but as far as like oh crap there's a left here or a blind corner here there wasn't a whole lot of that right. it just kind of flowed and it was it was easy to pick up on so you said six thousand six thousand and i said seven six and a half to seven six and so a half we'll call seven. it six and a half to make it even Fair and enough. then we said Fair enough. eight thousand for the other Six and a half plus eight is 14 and a half divided by two. Oh, come on, what's the last rating? <laughs> 7,250, so 7,250 <laughs> RPM is gonna be your overall rating for this track, which is pretty freaking good. Fun, definitely yeah. worth it. Worth a drive out here, especially like for us, it wasn't too bad, about a two hour drive um, with where we're located. So if you're on the East Coast, you haven't hit this up yet, I suggest it. Uh, with where he's located. Yeah. Mine required a plane ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we do for you guys. Fly across the country, multiple <laughs> states, just to, just to see Carolina Motorsports Park. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, keep an eye out for the rest of our track reviews and keep an eye on JK Moto Podcast. I think this next episode, diving into like, the details of what has happened this weekend. It's a fun time. Yeah, maybe you'll hear more about the park. Maybe a little bit. Uh, <laughs> more about Carolina, more about our, <laughs> our dealings tomorrow. Also, we got a second, second day here. Leave us some, uh, some likes subscribe to the channel and stick around for more. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for listening.